Okay, guys, um, this is the East Coast Economic Update uh, for the 17th of July, 2009. Um, this is going to be actually a combination of issues as well as um, a uh, up, uh, basically a, a channel update. A um, couple things I want you to know. Um, I usually do not speak about the WebBot program, partially because I believe that discussing it um, online affects its outcomes and if you don't know what the uh, WebBot program is of course I'll have everything listed here and you can look at it over. Um, Cliff High though has been making his rounds and much of what I've seen was on uh, Cliff High who is the senior lead programmer for the WebBot program has been all over the internet discussing um, his alter report. Um, I uh, got I, I paid for an alter report. They there was he was so concerned that people were not getting um, the alter report that he dropped his normal price of three hundred dollars down to thirty six dollars. I couldn't say no. It's one hundred and twenty three pages. If anybody is interested in having it, it is like reading the Torah. It's the only way I can describe it. You read it, you go what, and you have to read it again and go oh okay, and then you start pulling information out. It's obviously written by a programmer. There's no question about it. But if any of you want to see the document, I'll be happy to email it for you to you. Um, you know, I think um, Mr. High and George Yor both uh, want us to know what's going on in the next 12 months. A um, couple things within that is, um, if you've not heard about it, uh, the there was a um, I think it was sent up with the space shuttle. They're going to uh, they NASA is going to uh, strike the moon with a kinetic weapon. Uh, the project is called L Cross, and of course I'll have that here. Um, funny enough, it's going to strike on uh, October 9th of this year, and that's also the same time when all hell's supposed to break loose down here. Um, what is the point? Uh, NASA says that they're striking the moon to see if there's water vapor on it. Um, a lot of people, including myself, uh, based on what Galileo wrote and a number of things, don't. I don't believe that the Earth, the Earth, the moon is a solid object because if it was, it would have either crashed into the Earth or had flown away on its own gravitation. Don't forget, it's also one of the few objects in space that does not rotate on its axis; it stays still, and its mass, its a computed mass. Is has to be at least half, if not a third, the weight of what it should, what it would be if it was solid. So, you take that as you wish. Um, another great new level of conspiracy theories that could be laid upon on that. Also, um, in the report, um, starting July the twenty second, going forward to the August the sixteenth, um, the derivatives market will start to collapse again and this time it's going to be for good. Also a lot of other interesting things that are connected with it. Uh, the Mayan calendar, which I have uh, reservations about um, it, and if anybody wants to know the details of that, it'll take too long for a video, but I'll, you, know, you can email me and I'll talk to you why I cursively kind of at an arm's length look at it, but it does correlate with the beginning of the last tick on that clock, on that calendar, where um, uh, basically a mess of chaos is supposed to happen and real destruction both by one another as well as um, as well as uh, earth problems. We are starting to see earthquakes, another earthquake in China, um, we're starting to see bombings again, and uh, the derivatives market is um, really um, starting to shake and I'm feeling it on my level which I'm on the lowest level there is next to people with credit cards and they've already raised credit card companies have already raised your minimum balances uh, minimum payments to levels where you could pay them off in five years but many people can't even afford the minimum payment that was there before they raised it so obviously like I said watch what they're doing not what they're saying also as a side note I want to thank everyone um, for their responses for the Nouriel Rabini video I did. Um, once again, dead on. He didn't say that. They twisted his words. Um, and it was funny because for three hours, 
Um, I searched and searched on every website I could find, and all they had was Rubini says that the recession is over, or recovery by the end of this year. Nothing else. Not his speech, nothing. Not even, his, not even on YouTube was his speech even brought up. So it's very interesting that, uh, you know, um, a few hours later, um, there was a retraction on Bloomberg, but all the way at the bottom of their, of their Bloomberg terminal. So manipulation, ladies and gentlemen, manipulation, it is the name of the game. This is the period of the lull. This is the eye of the storm, as I said a few videos before, back in May into June, and that is what's going on. Um, uh, one other thing now for the updates, um, I have made a decision based on the sense that uh, it is so critical in the next 6 to 12 months of what's going to transpire that I have uh, stopped making um, theological videos and I am moved that to uh, UTOM, which is run by David Ben Shaul. Uh, and I'm also writing essays with David as well as with uh, Michael, who is uh, Torah Lover 0007. And if you want to read my essays or discuss them, you can go in, on either utom.org. Or, um, or on to uh, sonsofabraham.ning.com. Um, you can check them out there. We're doing forums, but the forums are basically theological forums discussing how our belief system is going to work primarily in this world and how we're going to respond to this world, both as a community, being a tribal community, as I've been saying in other videos, as well as to the people outside our general circle of religious beliefs. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I think that the, the what's happening now in this present day and age, in this next 12 months, is so much more important than the minutia of theological tenets and arguing basically garbage uh, that I feel that it's necessary that we need to get everybody together. That's why I don't care, you know, if you're an atheist, a Christian, a Jew, a shamanist, I need you guys to, my purpose in life, you are perfect creations of the Most High. God created you. And for me to allow you to possibly die is the greatest sin that I as a rabbi and as a human being and as a Jew could ever do. So I'd rather save you, uh, help you save yourself obviously, um, from what is about to happen in the next 6 to 12 months than for me to prove that I'm right you're wrong. It's just stupid. So um, that's basically it. Um, of course, I will have L Cross and all the other stuff down. I want to thank also for the tribal videos. I want to thank um, Renee Michigan uh, Snow Pony. Very nice video. Thank you very much. Also, True Train made a response to a video. I want to apologize. I must have misread his email. I thought he said he'd be in the upstate New York region. I was mistaken. Um, I apologize to you, True Train. But I would like to say this to you, True Train. I think you should make a video to tell us how you got, where, where you came from and how did you get into the situation where you, where you are now. Um, I know that you had mentioned in your video that you um, you lived a rural, rural life for a very long time and now you live this life and it looks very cool but I think it would be a real inspiration to all of us, especially us folks, the awakening as we refer to ourselves, uh, how you got there and uh, what motivated you to get to where you are. So that's something to think about. Um, continue to make uh, responses, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, one other thing from the tr tribal videos, and I'm sorry I'm trying to cluster everything up because Shabbos is going to happen in a couple of hours and i got to get grocery shopping, but uh, Dixie Girl 999 I will also list her channel over here. Um, she's a Christian. She wants to start a tribe. She wants to be a communal leader. Uh, she's in the mid, I think she's like probably somewhere in the center of Texas or around that area. But she's in the mid south, south Midwest, so around Texas, Arkansas, that sort of place. Get in touch with her um, if you're a Christian and you want to hook up with her um, and start to have the communications and let's try to coordinate. I, I think it's critical. Um, basically, uh, just to finish up, what this is all linking together, ladies and gentlemen. But just to finish up, uh, by the end of 2010, um, Cliff says that, uh, or the Webbot program says that, 80% uh, of our our um, purpose is going to be raising food. That could be a positive thing, that could be a negative thing. The negative thing is that we starve. The positive thing is that we're growing our own food and protecting ourselves. It's your choice, ultimately. So, Until later, Shabbat Shalom, and peace to you guys. Shalom Shalom.